Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'd like to show you guys something that has traveled quite a distance to get to me in uh, California and that is the Millway Motorsports uh, camber plate for the F2X and F3X chassis BMW cars. Now what caught my eye about this particular camber plate is that instead of a spherical bearing right here for the uh, shock absorbers um, piston shaft, instead we have kind of what looks like a plate or a washer encapsulated on top and bottom with this uh, white polyurethane material. And this uh, somewhat emulates the uh, design of the OE top hat uh, for these vehicles where uh, it has a similar design except it's encased in rubber. So what this should do is this should allow um, this camera plate to absorb a lot of the uh, noise vibration and harshness uh, that gets transmitted through the shock absorber. Um, and typically is the main cause of complaints of uh, you know rattling, increased noise, etc., coming from normal spherical bearing uh, camber plates. Now, Millway does offer a uh, spherical bearing camber plate, but these are their new street plates, uh, which just came out uh, within the past couple months. So I'm interested to see if uh, I can have my cake and eat it too by getting camber adjustment without all of the traditional NVH of a spherical bearing. Uh, camber plate. Looking at the design of this camber plate, uh, the main body is made out of just solid aluminum and uh, they've reinforced all the threads with helicoils. Um, one thing I find a little bit amusing is that for the two alignment nubs they've just used uh, two uh, hex bolts um, which should also work fine. It's just a little bit amusing to see. Um, and then uh, we have an uh, insert over here where the uh, OE uh, shock tower mount or strut tower mount uh, connects to. And then we have the main uh, camber adjusting mechanism. So you can see we have these three uh, hex screws which uh, clamp the top and bottom halves together and allow you to slide this main plate uh, around here um, in order to adjust the camber. Now even though this is uh, these markings go to minus 27 millimeters, uh, I believe I've seen the uh, owner of Millway state on the forums that this particular model can only get to about minus 25 millimeters. Um, that said, uh, he's also said that that should be about minus two and a half degrees of camber. So that's kind of right around where I'm looking to uh, uh, run. So I will install these and see what I can actually achieve. Also included with these camber plates are uh, a bunch of these grade 8.8 uh, M8 hex head screws to secure the camber plate um, to the shock tower and there's a little washer that goes on each of those as well. Um, I don't particularly like hex head screws for things that get torqued down uh, very high but these are only about 30 newton meters if I recall off the top of my head so it's not a it's not a huge amount of torque so this is probably okay. So I decided to take off all the screws holding the uh, camber plate together so you could see kind of what the internals look like. And if I take this top off, you can see uh, all this white here. This is the polyurethane um, kind of damp damping material that goes between this uh, silver uh, plate or washer here, which uh, captures the uh, damper piston shaft. So I can also take this apart too, and you can see the bottom side of that. And you can also see the bottom polyurethane, um, which is uh, sandwiches it on that side. And so these two pieces together encapsulating this guy, there's no metal to metal contact and uh, it allows the white polyurethane to absorb the vibration um, coming from the damper so that uh, you don't get that in NVH. So here is my OE top mount over here uh, next to the Moe uh, camber plate. And uh, as I was uh, mentioning earlier, you can see how for the uh, alignment nubs over here, they just kind of put these little uh, uh, cap head uh, screws. Um, but there's a couple things that we will need to transfer from the OE top mount to the camber plate. And uh, the first one on top here is this gasket. Um, so we'll just peel this off of the top of that, and then we'll put it over here. And you can see where these little uh, nubs are uh, in the gasket. Those go over the alignment ones. Um, then we'll go ahead and we'll flip both of these over. And the next thing we'll have to take off is this uh, thrust bearing. So you can use like a flathead screwdriver or a trim tool like that. Um, 
and just go ahead and get under it and pry up on it until it comes off. So now I've popped up the thrust bearing and uh, you can see the other side of it, nothing too, uh, too special, it's just a press fit. And then we'll just take this and press that on till it snaps just like that onto the millway camber plate. While we've got the OE top mount out, let's take a little bit of a closer look at it. And uh, if you look right in there, um, right where the uh, piston shaft goes, you can see a little bit of black around the periphery. And uh, if we look at it from the top side, you also see the same thing, that little bit of black around there. And that's that rubber that I was talking about that encapsulates that metal plate or washer in there um, that secures the shaft. So, you know, this uh, thickness of, of this here is a lot of uh, rubber um, that's uh, encapsulating and supporting that so that uh, it absorbs the vibration from the damper uh, instead of transmitting everything into the top mount and then into your shock towers and, and chassis. Okay, so uh, here is the Millway camber plate all bolted up. And uh, Millway supplies these grade 8.8 6mm .8, uh, hex bolts to replace the OE 13mm ones uh, that usually uh, connect the top plate to the, or top mount to the shock tower. Mm, some differences I noticed uh, between the OE bolts and these ones. The OE bolts are grade 10.9 and these are only grade 8.8. .8. Um, additionally, uh, the washers at the bottom here are 15.75 uh, millimeters uh, outer diameter and the OE ones are 18.75. So the forces aren't quite exactly the same. Um, I've gone ahead and sent an email to Millway to ask them if you can simply just use the OE bolts um, because the thread pitch is the exact same. So I am waiting to hear back on that. Uh, check the description for the answer that they give me. Um, Additionally, uh, Millway sent me instructions on how to torque these three 5mm hex screws that uh, control the camber adjustment. And uh, what was described to me was they want you to torque them in a sequence uh, using two torque levels. So the first torque level is going to be 20 newton, uh, 20 newton meters or 14.75 uh, foot pounds. And uh, you're going to torque this one first then this one over here and lastly that one and then you're going to go to your final torque of 24 newton meters or 17.7 foot pounds so from the 14.75 foot pounds here then you go back to this first one torque that to 17.7 then 17.7 here and lastly 17.7 there so that is the torque sequence uh, when adjusting this camber plate so Millway got back to me on using the OE grade 10.9 13 millimeter bolts uh, for these camber plates instead of their 6mm hex grade 8.8 .8 screws. And uh, they said that you can go ahead and use the OE bolts, but you have to make sure that they don't protrude below the camber plate and interfere with the sliding mechanism as you're adjusting camber. And the uh, uh, grade 8.8 6mm .8, hex bolts that they supplied are short enough such that they will not protrude below the bottom of the plate. So, as you can see from my setup here, the two bolts I have um, closest to the engine are the ones that would interfere with the sliding camber mechanism if they protruded below the plate. So those two I have to leave the included millway bolts, but the other three bolts I have, you can see I've swapped out for the OE ones. Additionally, because these are only grade 8.8 .8 instead of 10.9, the torque spec on these is lower. So the OE torque spec is uh, 30 newton meters or 22 foot pounds. But with these grade 8.8 .8 bolts, you're not supposed to torque them past 24 newton meters or 17.7 foot pounds. So these guys will end up having the same final torque as these 5 millimeter hex bolts, which secure the sliding mechanism. Also, since the camber plates don't have this little pocket right here in the center, um, when you take this cover, this uh, plug right here isn't going to pop into anything. So just be aware that this is going to be somewhat loose, but it's not really an issue because you still have these two expanding rivets over here which secure this side of it into the body.